How's it going everybody? My name is Infamous Isaac and I'm here with a video on Man of the Abyss Season 2, Something the Golden City. I don't even remember what the title was called, but you know, it's, it's Season 2 of Made in Abyss, right? And on the channel, if you watched from like July or maybe even June, I started, well, I rewatched Made in Abyss. I watched the first two movies, so technically I didn't rewatch, but at the same time it's the same story, so it's like, it's, it's basically the same thing. But... I watched Made in Abyss like three years ago when it came out and since season two got announced I would rewatch the movies and then I watched the third movie and now since season two is done it's officially done today I want to talk about it so without a doubt I'm saying this is a 9 out of 10 bro it's not perfect but oh my goodness is it close holy this season was great <laughs> this season I don't know it's difficult to say whether it's better than season one or not, but I'ma say But for it being stuck in only one layer, man was it really good. <laughs> so I'ma give it a nine for the people that wanna just get the rating and then leave. But for people who don't want spoilers, I'ma I'ma keep going. So you know. So, like I said in the beginning of this video, this season takes place over the whole six layer. There's no like oh layer five intro or layer 7 intro or something like that nah this is just only the sixth layer and it makes sense because there's a lot going on here and one thing i have to praise is the fact that the world building it just gets better and better every time you start off you you, you get the first layer you know it's cool it's the, it's the beginning then you get layer two and things start getting a little okay it starts heating up a little bit and then three and four that's when it's like yo what is going on? What is happening? What are these creatures and why are they getting scarier or more diabolical and smarter and all that? And then you get layer five. Layer five was the terror of humanity and how it can abuse the the the, the abyss, the I, I forgot what it's called. I guess the the pit, all that, and how it can abuse it, turning people into hollows and all that with one of the white whistles. Which we haven't seen a lot of actually ever since then. We've only seen layer two with what's her face, and then we've seen layer five with this guy. But nobody else besides that, nobody else. Which makes sense because once you get lower and lower, the less and less people you're gonna see if you see any people at all. Once you get to layer six, the world building, the world building is crazy, bro. The golden city, quote unquote. And it's just like, there's civilization here. It's just not the civilization that you think. It's, it's hollow, it's like all hollow people. And you get down there and it's just the mystery of what is this village and why is everybody like this? Are, the, are these really people or were they just born here? What happened? And as we learn that mystery more and more, we just start to see everything unravel and how messed up this quote unquote golden city really is. Like at first you think it's cool because it's just normal people living or quote unquote normal. And then you start unraveling the truth of like the darkness that takes equal things from people, right? It's all about exchange in this village. And then you start to see the other side, the, 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 the side that the viewer gets to see with the people that were going down into the abyss like a couple hundred years ago. And just seeing them and them traversing the abyss the same way that Rico, Reg, and Nanachi are. And then just like, oh, that's super sick. It's just the storytelling and the world building was so fire. And then Nanachi, you know, gets put to sleep. Reg goes out to find, uh, what's the face, Faputa. And then Rico is in the village. They all each have their own thing. And Nanachi is, is explained later, which I will get to. Rico, you know, learning the village, all that, learning the language, just exploring and learning everything. You have Rag learning about Faputa, which is cool. You know, it's sick because we learned that she has history with him. And then Nanachi, Nanachi actually, throughout the story, we learned that the flashbacks that we were getting from the other side, from Vueco and Irumui, and whatever that, 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 that dude's name is, and Beloff were actually being transmitted to Nanachi by Beloff himself, which turns out to be the giant silver servant that's watching over her. And Rico went to go bargain with him, but, you know, he was actually protecting her in that sense. So that was really cool. The fact that all those flashbacks that we thought were just for the viewer were actually being told to her while she was asleep. So that was really sick. We have all that stuff going on with Reg, he goes back to the village, all that, and he learns that Fapa is basically going to destroy the village. She's going to unleash chaos on it because we learned through the flashbacks that Edom Yui got abused by the leader in a sense of like, he, they were all going to die, right? They were in the, they were in the, the sixth layer 
and the only way for them to live was to drink the water but then it turns out that the water was not good for them at all and so they just were getting sick crazy like nasty by the way if you're eating don't listen to this part but the diarrhea and the vomit and all that stuff and just everything was messing them up and the only way for them to do it for them to live was the golden egg that he had he gave it to Udamui and she ate it or well, well like transformed with her and then she got turned into a giant hollow creature that just started birthing creatures because her wish was to have a child but she couldn't because she was infertile or something like that I don't remember but it was a really messed up contorted monkey paws wish type thing and so they all ate her children willingly and unwillingly like Veko unwillingly and Belof unwillingly but they ate her children and they lived but it transformed them into those creatures into the hollows and now you know Falputa being the the youngest child out of all of them of the uh, out of all the children that came from Udum Yui uh, is now looking for revenge for all the people that ate her and just got turned into creatures like that into hollows and so that's why she's doing it and that episode Actually, I'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, plot summary aside, you know, they or Faputa comes to destroy the village. She starts killing everybody. Then, because she bursted in through the through the ceiling, a bunch of creatures from the sixth layer that aren't aren't a part of this village, you know, like a giant dragon, lanky creature, just comes in. Both of them, or a whole species of them, and now Faputa has to fight all of them. But then the villagers help her out by letting her, them eat her. Or, well, by by letting her eat them. There you go, excuse me. And then she starts going crazy, but she still needs help. And Reg helps out. And then all that stuff is going on. Some nasty, diabolical, messed up stuff happens to Reko. And, spoiler, she dies. It's messed up. Like, really, really messed up. <laughs> really, really messed up scene. Because the, the, the curse of the sixth layer wasn't affecting them because of something. I forgot what it was. But it basically kept the the curse out from the village. But now that this village is being, you know, va invaded and break breaking and all that, falling apart, it, it it can't keep it out anymore. So the six layer starts affecting her when she tries to go up to see Edom Yui, but it, it hits her and she turns into a hollow. Then all that stuff going on, they they all group up together. Everybody's basically dead except for Falputa, Reg, Rico, and Nanachi. And then after all is said and done, after they live, everybody else is dead. All the, the, the leader, Belof, everybody. Oh, and uh, Nanachi woke up, by the way. <laughs> uh, Reg asked, Falputa, can you join us? Can you come join us in our adventure? Because she's all alone now. She, All the people that she learned were with her her mom. And the people that uh, cared for her mom and all that, like Belof and Veko, are dead. So she can't, she doesn't have anything anymore. Her job is done. Her duty is done. And her guardian is dead as well. Literally, they went in here, mad people alive, and they left only them alive. They came in and they left. And shoot, it was messed up. Well, except for Fabita basically joining them. She was like, sure, maybe I'll join. And then that's the end of it. Now we have to see next, whether it's a movie or a new season. Uh, with what they do with Faputa or whatever and the seventh layer or I guess anything below the the, the sixth layer because they're done basically they're done with the sixth layer they learned all that they explored it or most of what they could explore and now they have to keep going again it's a no return trip they can't go back because the loss of humanity we, we got to see it in full display she just died she legit just died it was messed up like Weko really got hit with the cheese actually crazy going over the parts you know after the summary and all that because i wanted to go over the summary because it's a lot like it's a lot you you have the music the music is always great there's no doubt about that the music for this show is amazing i love the music in the show i don't remember the name of the tracks or little do i know the name of the tracks but the music is great like you're just hearing that vocal the vocal track that plays when a sad moment happens i think it plays throughout the entire show but that that track is fire you have the intro which is pretty good the ending track was pretty good all that stuff you have the background track everything the ost is just fire and then you have the animation the animations always look pretty good it's not it's not crazy 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 like the movie animation was but it is pretty good it's still pretty good so you know if it's serviceable and it does its job 
I like it, but it's more than serviceable. It's good. So I can say that it did, it did, it did its job. And you have the story. The story of the season was the best one so far. I, I have to admit that because with episodes like um, learning about their past with Beko and what happened to them, why they got turned into hollows, or most of them got turned into hollows, and why um, Edom Yubi isn't there with them and why Fapata is, it's like that episode, man, that episode messed me up, bro. And then you have just the the flashback sequences in general. They were really good. They were really, really good. I found myself more engaged with them at certain points than I did with the main story. But then once the main story got back on the on, on its wheels, you know, that I was also a fire. It, like, they, they, they didn't clash with each other. They complemented each other so well. And it made for such a good product, you know. Like, going through the... My my favorite episodes, if I if I had to say them, right? Like I don't remember the episode like numbers, but my favorite episodes are definitely like the the first one. Oh, well, one through three, they were really good. I remember that for sure. One through three, and then the the episodes, you know, then just exploring the sixth layer before they got to the village, then learning about the village, and then after that it was meeting Fabu that was Reg and all that. That episode was really good. You also have again learning about the flashbacks and how Edom Yui turn into that thing, turn into the village basically. That and then like the last three episodes, they were really good. This season knocked it out the park, but it was awesome. You have the characters, the new characters introduced. I really liked them. I really liked them. Even the the main bad guy being the leader basically. He 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 was likable, you know. He was a, a messed up person, but he was likable. Baloff as well, Veko and Adam Yui were great. Falputa was great. All the all the Hollows are really great. I really I really mess with them. And you have the robot as well, the Guardian. He was sick. Like, I I just enjoyed watching all these characters. You know, there were so many, and we haven't seen this many people, in a in one setting, uh, ever since like the, the the beginning of the show of the very first like episode where we saw the orphanage and all of them. We haven't seen that in so long, so just seeing this many people was fire. Well, actually, them and also the fifth layer, but the fifth layer in reality was mostly like five people. <laughs> so, seeing this many amount of people was fire. I messed with it. Um, what else? Well, it's fights, not really fights. Uh, I don't really like to talk about the fights in this show because I, I, I mm, yeah, it's it's not like Demon Slayer. It's not like a shonen type thing. It's it's messed up, but it's not, it's not a shonen. But yeah, honestly, again, if I had to rate it, it's a 9. This season was definitely a 9. So, you know, I can't wait to see what happens in season 3. I'm not, I'm not going to read the manga for this show, because seeing it through the anime format really is the, the, excuse me, the joy for me. While I could see all that stuff in the manga and all that, I would rather just wait, honestly. For this one, I would rather just wait, which is something I rarely do. Legit, something I rarely do. But overall, you know, I would recommend this season. Wholeheartedly, this was the best season so far. The best material that we got gotten from the people who made this show. And, you know, from the manga and all that. Or at least, like, excuse me. From what we got from the show, not the manga, because I can't speak on that. But, yeah, overall, really good. Really, really good. And I can't wait to see what happens in season three or what we, where we go from here. Because it's just a mystery. Legit for me, the world building and the mystery is the funnest parts about this show. And it's just so, like, I, I, w I usually wouldn't watch something like this because of how messed up it is. Like, genuinely, it can be so depressing and messed up. But it's so good. That's the thing. The fact that it's so good is it's just needlessly sad or depressing or just disgusting. It's, it's awesome, you know. Genuinely good show. So, you know, that's going to put the, the end to this journey for now, you know. I I watched all these seasons, or well, I watched one season, three movies, and then this. So now it's just waiting, waiting once again to see what happens with season two, or excuse me, season three. <laughs> but thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Infamous Isaac, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.